is now that we've gone to the mark book and created our columns we now need to go back to the report section and actually link that particular column to that first learning statement we created in our heads of department meeting two weeks ago. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously go to reports. I'm going to go to the right hand side now and I'm going to set up academic reporting. Over here I'm going to go to faculties. I see them all but you'll only see the faculties that you are in charge of. I'm going to go back to English again assuming the role of Anna Maria. I'm now going to click on Advanced English. I'm going to hit Edit. And from here, as you can see, we have already linked to Year 12 Advanced English as a whole particular MacBook. But I specifically now need to link, as you can see, we have already activated this one learning statement already in our last meeting. But I now need to actually link it. So it's been activated. This is where we clicked it and we saved it and it came up with a link. So while now, if I actually link it to the MacBook, it's going to give me where I can get it from. And as you can see, the only option it's giving me is from those learning statements, it's giving me the grade because a learning statement calculation in terms of reports can only come from a grade in Markbook. That's why we created a, a calculation to convert one column into 100 and then the second column to turn that into a grade. So you can see now that's the outcome. Uh, that's, sorry, I should say the learning statement. That's the category, the actual mark book, and there's the actual grade. We're going to save that and scroll back down. And you can now see that that particular learning statement has been linked specifically to learning statement number one. We're going to hit save. And that's all I would like you to do. So from now, we should have three, uh, no more than four, but no less than three learning statements in each of your year 12 uh, courses. So if I go back now to our courses, so I'm going to go back to English here. And so Anna Maria needs to go down to that standard English again. She would need to hit edit. She would need to actually go down here and add those custom outcomes so that they appear one, two, three, four, or one, two, three. And once they're in there, she needs to activate them and then link them to the different columns. So that would actually give us. So now we've got this particular uh, linkage to the actual grade in your mark book. And the third part I'm going to talk to you about is how you then link the schemes and how you actually push your marks through.